I don't know, I think where I stopped in Naruto, it was like all going to the past or something like that. It was just... It was just a struggle to watch episodes at this point. Like even like uh, the first uh, season of Naruto, so not Naruto Shippuden, I think I stopped at around episode 120, 130, because people told me that there was no reason to watch after that. But it was all failures and nothing else. I mean, I did like some of this stuff in uh, Naruto Shippuden. Pretty good. Just go read Prison School. I, uh... Damn, I haven't read Prison School in uh, in quite a while, maybe though. I should actually. I really should. Are you still uh, Are you still reading it? All right, Larry. This is ridiculous at this point. It's so it's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. Yeah. All requests shown the radio. that gunshot. What's a big problem? Are you stupid, Larry? <laughs> uh, I still have to continue uh, reading uh, uh, Attack on Titans. I heard that they finally uh, Announced uh, a new season as well, like anime. <laughs> I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. Yeah. You know what, Karma? I can't. It is, it is difficult to believe this testimony. Yeah. I can't remember where I stopped uh, reading Prison School. I think I have it on my uh, manga list somewhere. Chapter 100, apparently. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there is that new uh, D. Grayman uh, anime as well. Doesn't have that many episodes though. Need to watch, man. So much stuff, uh, like anime-wise, that I need to like catch up on. To I've been like kind of out of it for a, a while. When he heard the sound, no music was playing. Right. Good job, uh, Phoenix. <laughs> I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, Larry. So cute. <laughs> uh, Larry's awesome, guys. What is still being written, uh, Kara? Did you by any chance remember the name of the program you were listening to? Prison school. Did you uh, read it? <laughs> but 
but I'm sure I heard that gunshot. All right. Tell me what the DJ was saying. What did he say? <sighs> I I think I care because Yeah, I think I care. We should care. Could give us the time, that could give us lots of stuff, right? Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot, so midnight. So now we have the time. She had this real sexy voice. <laughs> I think that did help us, Phoenix. Alright, um, listening to a no request show on the radio. Real booming loud. Yeah, it's almost Christmas. Okay, let's see. At do we know the time? What is that second leg photo? <gasps> 11 of an empty uh, thing. Right. I remember at 11.50 it was like completely empty. And yet they heard the gunshot at around that time. Hmm. Is it what I need though? Two sounds like gunshot just after midnight. <gasps> so they didn't hear the same gunshot, guys. I mean, we know that the pistol was fired three times. So could it be possible that there was one gunshot before midnight and two gunshots after midnight? Do we know the exact time of death? No. 24th or 25th. Because here she said just after midnight, but here it says it's before midnight. Can we use Lota's deposition again? I think so. We are doing good, guys. Did you hear? Genius streamer. <laughs> I, I had so much issues on the previous case. Uh, Last time I streamed, I <laughs> it was just ridiculous. So it feels good to uh, to actually figure stuff out this time. current witness is plainly mistaken wow karma did you see your previous witness like the guy is, is not reliable come on just look at him suspicious did you see the other guy 
<laughs> I mean, I know that Larry is a bit weird and a bit maybe suspicious, but still. This is the guy couldn't even remember his own name. Karma, please. Exactly, my wizard. <laughs> Larry's right. Of course he's right. Show me evidence. See gun. Three times. Take that. I really wonder why, why didn't they hear the first gunshot? not happy. Empty statement, come on. Any proof that it was fired before? Freaking uh, Larry just said it. Of course I have proof. Didn't just think he heard something. Come on, Karma. Assassin used the potato as a silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There is no turning back now. Do you have any... Do you have evidence that proves there was a gunshot before midnight? Do you have evidence that proves Mr. Butts wasn't just hearing things? Why do I have to, like, try so hard while Karma is, like, bringing shady witnesses? <laughs> this is so not fair, guys. So not fair. Okay, so what? Oh! Second leg photo. I'll go with this. Oh, right! Right, because it is a photo triggered. Uh, before midnight and it was like completely empty. Uh, doing well. Eleven fifty, yeah. We got this. Poor IG. <laughs> what did happen that night on the lake? Isn't that what we're trying to figure out? Separated by 25 minutes, yeah. I don't know that. Looks like Phoenix figured out. I'm not so sure yet. Floating Phoenix bullshit. <laughs> Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? What? In this case, had the same idea as the murderer in that case. I'm a bit like Maya right now. Oh, 
could it be possible that once again the murder actually didn't take place on the boat but before so the first gunshot would have killed the guys and they like shot two more for no reason well no because Edgeworth was on the boat and the picture shows like two men standing so I guess that can't be that Alright, Phoenix, tell me. Oh, karma. So you finally realized the truth? Did you know the truth? Oh. God damn it, karma. It's hard to like not see it like that. It is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yeah, it is really hard. In need of a burger? Stop talking about burger car. You told me that they would be talking about burger all the time, but you're the one talking about burger. Well, not that they would be talking about burger all the time, but that they would like, like. Um, well, yeah, talk about burgers, and they really didn't. So I don't know. <laughs> the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. Yeah. So yeah, I guess Phoenix thinks that uh, the victim might have been shot the first one, so like 10 minutes before midnight. Do we need? We always need burger, maybe though. Twenty-five minutes. Yeah, but who was on the? Uh, could it be possible that the two people on the boat? Could it? Uh, well, could it be possible that Hammond? wasn't on the boat and it was someone else. Well, no, but if he is dead, how can he be like standing up? I... I don't get it yet. Are you quite mad? Explain who this... Who this is sitting on the boat? Edgeworth and the murderer. That could be possible, because But Edgeworth told me that he had no ID. Let's uh, do a quick save here. Edgeworth said that he had like no ID of who uh, might have killed, so did Edgeworth lie to me? I mean, that's possible. It's Edgeworth after all. But let's go with Edgeworth and the murderer. I mean,. Wait, unless Edgeworth wasn't on... No, Edgeworth was on the boat, right? Yeah, 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 we know Edgeworth was on the boat. I think? Yeah. Tell us why you went to the lake that night. Whoa, okay, 
I didn't think that. I mean, uh, how could I have known that uh, Edge Wales didn't really know uh, Hammond? Huh. That's a possibility. Tell us the name of the murderer then. I don't know. Miles Edge was Lota Heart. This is that girl, guys. No, let's go with I don't know. I don't know. Again, you waste my time. Karma's not happy. He never told us. We need Edgeworth on this stand, guys. The murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop. What? Oh! He was the one who killed Robert Harmon. I guess that would be the other guy that was there, other than uh, Lota. Ah, I didn't think about that. Why? Why would he kill though? Because... If I understand correctly, Hammond was the one that saved... That defended uh, the caretaker of the boat shop. Where did he do this? Why would you have to go all the way out on the lake just to shoot someone? You know? Not in a boat, you know. Where did the murder take place? Show the judge where the murder really took place. So would it be like right there? Or here? Well, no, probably here then. I'd say like boat place. It's a boat shop where I live, you know. Because the bird is possessed by a evil demon spirit who controlled the boat owner guy and told him to kill someone in the name of the blood god. Solve case, let's go home guys. <laughs> uh I like it, my brother. I like it. <laughs> that way you could meet with the victim without anyone saying. I don't know, I mean... Unless the boat guy is like completely faking his own madness, I, I don't know. I, I can't really see him as a murderer, can I? Remember what the birds say when you give the trigger, remember DL6. Yeah, I remember that, Kara. But... No, I thought I had a, a fart right now, but I don't know. Just as he's starting to head for me here, yeah, it's a gunshot, yeah. Very close by, uh... It's probably the only thing he was trying not to forget. Uh, guess. DLC is actually an NVIDIA driver. Case solved. <laughs> uh, I need to upgrade my driver actually soon. I'm been pretty lazy. Alright, Phoenix, looks like you have it under control. Never mind.
You know, that would be like so much easier if Hedgeworth would say, Who did you meet? I can freaking Hedgeworth go on the stand and just like tell us who he was with in the boat. Like that I wouldn't have to figure out all of this thing. <laughs> who fired the pistol on the boat? Huh, that's a really good question, is it? Well... Edgeworth said that he didn't fire anything. That he only took the gun at the end. So I'll go with the boat shop caretaker. Does the murderer who shot the pistol? So would he like boat shop like really like just fake everything? Both missed Edgeworth on purpose. While fake and tried to like pin everything on Edgeworth? Share my visa. It's okay. Soon uh, I'll have to be playing enough uh, Dengen Rompa and uh, Phoenix Wright to be uh, to be a lawyer. We need the degree. Just play games. Tell us why the murderer had to fire twice. To create a witness. I think so too. Degrees are overrated, exactly, Mavisa. I think actually degrees are overrated. So, I guess the bot shop owner like like drop in the uh, the water after it. Then? Jumps from the boat himself, yeah, leaving the pistol in the boat behind. Him. But why would Edgeworth think he's dead? Then he put Mr. Hammond's wet coat back on the body and threw the body into the lake. Yeah. This is more than plausible. Other than the boat owner is a bit weird. Come on, judge. What the heck is that word? Bailiff. By live, by life, by live. I don't know how you even pronounce this thing. Bring out the witness from before. Yep. The boat shop cared. I need to check. Let me uh, get to like, the music part. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, by live. Apparently it's town. Can't really count that. Uh, an official in a court of law who keeps order looks after prisoners. A sheriff officer who executes writs and process and processes and carries out distraints and arrests. Arrest. Okay. Probably more like believe in that if I what <laughs> very well when we are waiting for the caretaker I would like to ask defendant Miles Edgeworth a few 
finally. Please take this stand. Finally, Edgeworth on the stand, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. 